Okay, good day. Um, some exercises for balance and leg. Many people have walking or balance issues with walking for many reasons, muscle tightness, um, legs get very weak, blood pools. Um, there's endless reasons we actually go through in many of our appointments, but some tools to help get people stronger. We're gonna start in our chair and then um, get people using some vertical movements. So first we're gonna start on our legs and just to find our balance, we're gonna start first sitting in a chair, a solid chair. I would prefer people to use a chair that has no arms on it. So just close your eyes, lean back in the chair, solid back in the chair. Just close your eyes. Breathe in, breathe out. I just want you to feel your balance. You might feel sway. I just want to find your balance. Your proprioception is your balance, which is your eyes, your neck tells you where you're going, and your centers in your core and your feet. Now open your eyes up, and then you're going to just look straight ahead. Now you're going to turn it to the right, to the left, and then back. You might feel dizzy. Be okay with that. Just do it slowly. And then you're going to look up, down, to the right, to the left, here to the right, here to the left, and then back. Great. Now you're going to bring your arms out. And you're going to look to the right, to the left, here to the right, here to the left, head forward, head back. You might feel a little dizzy, you might feel a little nauseous. And then bring your hands back down. And then close your eyes again. Okay, if you're feeling dizzy, just pause the video for a moment. Just take a moment. Be okay with that. Because this is part of the mission to help you feel less in balance, get your walking stronger. Strong legs make the body strong. Walking makes the brain strong, makes you feel better. Open your eyes up. Good. Bring your hands together. Say something good about yourself. I am here. I am doing this. I believe in myself. I am a good person. I am frustrated. Frustration means I care about something. Frustration is good. Okay. Now, you can hold onto the chair. Lift one leg up and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. You might hate me right now, that's okay. Because you're trying to get stronger. The other leg, like one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's a fast five. All right, now you're gonna try to hold your hands up. One, two, three, four, five. Now the other leg, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now hands out, lift the leg up, one, two, three, four, five. Now the other leg, one, two, three, four, five. Good. They might want to hold on to the chair and just straighten the leg out. That's the hamstring, the back of the legs, holding one to the chair, one, two, three, four, five. You might lock your quad. That's okay. Quadriceps are for part of leg. Just do it. Feels tight. That's okay. You want to hyperextend your leg. One, two, three, four, five. Your back is against the chair. Now, if you want to, we're going to do it again. Your back can stay against the chair. Your back can actually pull away from the chair. Arms can stay on the chair. There's no right or wrong. Some of you might evolve to where you are away from the chair. I'm gonna do this for the more advanced. Just lift your arms up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The legs are heavy muscles, heavy weights, the natural dumbbells almost. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I cheated. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, just gonna stand there, hug yourself, and close your eyes. Back against the chair, back not against the chair. Find your balance. One, two, three, four, five. Open your eyes up. Back against the chair, back not against the chair. Just close your eyes to the left, to the right. Fast or slow as you want. Bend forward, bend back. Right ear to right shoulder, back up. Left ear to left shoulder, back up. Good. Okay. We're going to do this now. I'm going to just bring your right ankle outside to your left knee and just bend forward a little, not much. And just close your eyes, straight back. Put your hands anywhere you want to. So really maintain that balance. One, two, close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Again, your knee can be like this. It's okay. Now the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. The back can be anywhere it needs to be, touching the back of the chair or not. Now, back against the chair. Some of you might hold on to the chair, some of you may not. You're just going to actually just pedal, hold on to the chair just 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. But that's too much. Just do one leg at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do that over and over again either after the video or just repeat the video over and over again, as many times in a day to find your balance, okay? And even when you start that, you might just do one leg at a time, okay? So you can do that over and over again. You could even do it if you want to. The balance is good enough. You can get on the floor or lay on the sofa and just do it. You know, just to do this is also good as many times a day is just to lay on the floor, lay in the back. Get those legs strong, heavily. You don't have to spend tons of money. And you do one leg at a time. You do as many times a day as you want, just like a pedaling motion. You don't need to spend tons of money on exercise equipment, have someone yell at you in a video camera. You know, I believe in you. I think you're incredible people doing more than you realize. You just make some circles. So you can lay on the floor, or do this in your chair, do it on your sofa, do it on your mattress. Okay. And if it's hard for you to get up, just do it in your chair. Okay. Back up. All right. Sit back in the chair. Again, you, you could have been in your chair for that, on the floor, on the sofa, whatever. All right. Let's take a breather for a second. Breathe in. Long breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. Say something good to yourself. You're doing this. I appreciate you. Close your eyes. Find your balance. Okay, we're going to get a little vertical. The chair is your friend. Remember, a solid chair. And you're just going to stand there. And you're going to just close your eyes. Some you might need to be shoulder width. Find your balance. Many of you, because your balance is not so good, you're going to lay your legs, stretch them out wider than your feet. 
Close your eyes. You're going to really try to get those unconscious sensors of your legs to work because you're not, they've lost that signal and the neck muscles. If you can, let go of the chair. It's always there. It's always there. Some of you, it's so poor, you might need to use a cane or a walking stick along the way. Good. Now, solid chair. I'm going to actually just lift one leg up. Maybe for some of you, just an inch. Some of you just might be just a tippy toe and alternate. 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 And then you do the heel. Heel and toe walk. Many of you, when you meet us in the office, you know we're doing that toe and heel walking. It helps. Alternate. 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 And then the same thing here is one foot in front of the other. And then one foot behind the other. Use the chair. Use a walking stick or cane if you have to. And just keep doing it. And if you can't, all right, that's good. Let's come back, find your balance. And if you need to sit down, sit down. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded, always use common sense. All right, we're going to do this again. Close your eyes, find your balance, hold into a chair if you need to. There's no judgment, there's no gold star, there's no trophy. Do what feels right. Okay, good. Stand on one toe, one toe. Or if you can, stand on both toes. Just try and find your balance. One toe, one toe. Hold on to the chair. What you're really trying to do is pump in the blood. You're working your sensors, get those sensors, the appropriate sections all through your balance centers, your cerebellum and your neck. That, that neck has a lot of balance sensors. And then your feet, the appropriate sections, getting in the work. Any crank and stop, breathe, praise yourself for trying this. Then your heel, you lose your balance, hold on to this. Just keep doing this. It looks like nothing, but it's something. Many things in life look like nothing, but are really something. Life is tricky that way. Okay. All right. Now we're going to stand here and just arms out. How many times your arms are out? Try to just pull back. We don't want people to hypermobile, overstretch. And just close your eyes. If you feel you're not as good, just do one arm. Just try and get your balance. Turn your head to the left, to the right. Left, right, left, right. Okay, good. Just find your balance and just bring your arms back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good. So this is a stop point. If you still need to work with balance, watch this video and do it over and over again in the day. Maybe just repeat it again, do it again, or do it later in the day. Combine with other parts of the video or other parts of your fitness. We're going to do some more of this um, toe and heel walking. So really, is if you can, walk on your toes repeatedly in the day. And then walk back, back on your toes. It's exercise and helps balance. And then walk on your heels. You know, really get up on your heels if you can. It helps balance. And keep practicing that. And then the other thing is walking on a tight rope. And if you need to, use a walking stick. And with a walking stick, I don't have one. But with a walking stick, it's nice because you can, as you get more confident, let it go. Let it off the ground. 
And then with, with the toe walking, you can go as high or low as you want to go. I'm not moonwalking. So walking forward, to walking backwards, and you can do it at your own pace. Feel walking. Okay, good. Good. And then when you're doing like tightrope walking, you can do really foot, heel to toe. Or you can do a little wider if you don't do it already yet. No judgment zone. You're just doing it. You can bend your legs if you feel you need to. Or if you need to, just do a little wider stance. It's all good. You're working your balance. You're trying to help yourself. That's all that matters. You know. It was good. If you actually tap your feet, you might hear it. There's audible sounds. Sometimes people with balance issues need to tap their feet to hear it. If you want to, bring your feet out, arms out, to find your balance. Good. Now, some people might even take their shoes off. That's why babies go to look be barefoot. They get this proprioception that way. That's why it's good kids be barefoot. Provide your feet are clean, your floors are clean, and you don't have any numbness. We cannot feel your feet, and there's nothing on the floor. But being barefoot is good because you can actually find your balance and then close your eyes that way. Good. Feet together, and close your eyes. And then being barefoot, it's good sometimes to close your eyes and just try to squat back and forth. And squat down and just find your balance. Okay. All righty. These are all, again, just help alongs trying to make your life better. Um, no judgment zones. Just many different opportunities. Um, we believe in you. We're here to support you. Give you many options. We know it's frustration. I always say frustration means you care. There's something in you that wants to move you or something that you lost. And we're here for you. So bless you. Take care of yourself. And be safe. Thank you.